Each year worldwide, human papillomavirus, or HPV, is responsible for approximately 500,000 cases of cervical cancer, 10 million high-grade dysplasias, 30 million low-grade dysplasias, and 30 million cases of genital warts. Now there is an opportunity to help protect against HPV, the major cause of all these diseases. In clinical studies, Gardasil has prevented cervical cancer, vulvar cancer, and vaginal cancer caused by HPV types 16 and 18, which both cause approximately 70% of cervical cancer. Additionally, Gardasil was effective against low-grade cervical, vulvar, and vaginal intraepithelial neoplasia caused by HPV 6, 11, 16, and 18, and genital warts, 90% of which are caused by HPV type 6 and 11. The human papillomavirus has an outer shell capsid comprised of the major capsid protein L1 and the minor capsid protein L2. It is the L1 protein that stimulates the major antibody response in humans. Within the HPV capsid is the viral DNA. Gardasil is made of virus-like vaccine particles, bioengineered from only L1 proteins. These vaccine particles are empty shells containing no viral DNA and are therefore not capable of causing infection or HPV-related diseases. However, because they are made of L1 protein, the vaccine particles are able to mimic the virus and elicit an antibody response. In creating the vaccine, purified L1 proteins produced in yeast cells come together to form pentamers, which then self-assemble to form empty particles that closely resemble the HPV particle. Gardasil contains four vaccine particle types, each composed of L1 proteins of HPV type 6, 11, 16, or 18. A proprietary adjuvant is added to enhance immunogenicity. When injected intramuscularly, the vaccine particles are recognized as foreign by a variety of cells, including antigen-presenting cells, APCs, which engulf and process them. The APCs then travel through the lymphatic system to lymph nodes. Here, the antigen is presented to naive T helper cells, triggering T cell activation. B cells also process the vaccine particles, and when they subsequently encounter T helper cells, cytokines stimulate their differentiation into plasma cells and memory B cells. The plasma cells secrete high levels of antibodies specific to the HPV types targeted by vaccine. Some of these antibodies Antibodies are capable of neutralizing HPV. Leaving the lymph nodes, antibodies travel in the bloodstream throughout the body. There are several hypothesized mechanisms for the protective activity of Gardasil. One mechanism is that the neutralizing antibodies travel to the basal epithelium of the cervix where they intercept, bind, and neutralize invading virus, directly preventing infection while also facilitating elimination of virus by macrophages. Another mechanism is that the neutralizing antibodies travel to the cervical secretions where they may directly bind to HPV, preventing infection. Given in three doses at 0, 2, and 6 months, the Gardasil vaccine elicits a robust antibody response. In clinical trials, HPV antibodies declined through month 24 and then stabilized at or above the levels following natural infection with HPV. Because of the very high efficacy of Gardasil in clinical trials, it has not been possible to establish a minimum antibody level that protects against clinical HPV disease. In addition, it is postulated that after immunization with Gardasil, immune memory is established via memory B cells. This results in a strong and rapid increase in antibodies directed against the virus when infectious HPV is subsequently encountered. In other studies, Gardasil has demonstrated immune memory for at least up to five years. Gardasil, the world's first cervical cancer vaccine, heralds an exciting new opportunity to prevent cervical cancer, genital warts, and other diseases caused by the human papillomaviruses. Gardasil is a vaccine indicated for the prevention of cervical, vulvar, and vaginal cancer, precancerous or dysplastic lesions, genital warts, and infection caused by the human papillomavirus, HPV, 
type 6, 11, 16, and 18. As for any vaccine, vaccination with Gardasil may not result in protection in all vaccine recipients. This vaccine is not intended to be used for treatment of active genital warts, cervical, vulvar, or vaginal cancers, CIN, VIN, or VAIN. Contraindications are hypersensitivity to the active substances or to any of the excipients of the vaccine. The following injection site reactions were very common and occurred at a greater incidence in the group that received Gardasil compared with the saline placebo group, erythema, hemorrhage, pain, pruritus, swelling. Most injection site reactions were mild to moderate. Please refer to the full prescribing information before administering Gardasil.